Dwera has been very highly spoken of to us that we've got to come to Dwera. There's tons of things to do in Dwera. The coastline there is just full of all sorts of different things to explore, tons and tons of caves. So we've been excited to go to Dwera, but since it is on the western side of the island in the prevailing wind, we have to wait for a weather window. The west coast of Gozo is a big contrast to Camino and some of the other spots that we've been. There are cliffs, it's just sheer cliff faces. When I watch back this footage, I partly wonder why are we doing this? Why is it that we're exploring caves? Why is it that we're taking photos? Why is it that we're making video? One obvious reason is because it's beautiful. I find beauty inherently valuable. A lot of my life is what, driven around beauty. Like, it's definitely of high value to me. It's something that I pursue. Our first place is to the blue hole. And so a blue hole is that. It's a hole in the earth that is full of water. You go down and there's an arch. And so you can swim out of the hole into the sea and then swim back through into the hole. An interesting concept that I learned from Jordan Peterson is that beauty is a gateway into the divine. That if you don't know how to access the divine, then you might as well start with beauty. Creating beautiful things, seeing beautiful things, and being in beautiful locations. If you can capture that beauty to some degree and then share that with somebody else, then they can get value out of it as well. That's one driver of why to explore. Another reason is it's just learning. It's expanding your consciousness. It's expanding your perspective. Some experiences do that more than others. To whatever little degree that is with each experience, but collectively having many, many of those experiences really changes your view of the world and of your place in it. Sharing the beauty of it is valuable. What we're doing is we're capturing this beauty to some degree, sharing it with people, and that's providing value. But to me, that's not quite a driver enough for it to feel like it really matters, just to provide content. And that's why we've explored with multiple of these different videos, different ideas of story and concepts and philosophy and different ideas that I find valuable and that I've learned and gained from these experiences. The Inland Sea is a unique feature of Gozo. There's a crack in the cliff face and a tunnel has formed and it's eroded and all that kind of stuff. And so seawater can now pass and create a little lake, an inland sea. So it's a saltwater lake that is only accessible through one natural tunnel and we want to dive on it. One, it's really deep. It's surprising how deep it is. It's like in spots 20, 30 meters, and there's shelves and drop-offs and tons of scuba divers, and it's a different world. When you're swimming down there, it's so old and prehistoric. It's a time capsule in a way. It's been there way before we were there and it'll be there way after we're there. 
It's got a personality. It's got its own way of being. It's timeless. I believe that every landscape has its own personality and is there for a reason. Each space has something to teach you. We are guests and so we need to understand how to move. If you are going to the reef, the reef cuts, so you should not touch the reef. And so when it comes to caves, for me, as I said before, they've been carved for so many years. And when you carve something for so many years, in, this is my humble opinion, no? but I think you are living an energy and for me they are like pieces of art. And at the same time you are going inside of a place when normally when you are going to the sea you are going into the open blue which is expansive in a way, no? and for me a cave makes it concrete. You can frame, you can play with the light and also feeling wise, no? I think you can stop thinking about moving and just trying to find your neutral buoyancy where you can just observe everything that is around and really feel yourself hacked by, by the earth. You know, it's like going to, your, to a cocoon or going to the womb. I think it's in our DNA to like caves, right? At some point, our ancestors lived in caves. Nature built a roof over our head for us, right? Like nature built a house and you can go live in it and that's a cave. Hello, we are in Gozo. It's 5.30 in the afternoon and here we are in a swim through. Beautiful, beautiful landscape. Would you like to go closer, Nacho? Yes, I, I want to go closer, closer, let's go closer. Well, the experience of travel and the experience of exploring, it's its so much more than just seeing something. its its a, It's a thing that, subtly and slowly and sometimes fastly um, affects and changes you as a person. That can only really be expressed and shared via story. The tangible aspect of it is the artwork, the, the, the completed video, the documentation of it is the tangible aspect of it. But at least when I'm making them, there's always to some degree, I'm kind of like, what's the point? Not with every single video, but some videos more than others and we normally work that out and kind of figure that out as we go through just talking about things that we've learned and the experience itself and how that played out and all those kind of things allow us to then come up with some sort of story or meaning or lesson or just idea that is interesting to explore but then also part of what we're doing now and what i've been doing my whole life is training When I was a bodybuilder and whatnot, I, people would be like, what are you training for? Are you training for competition? would be like, no, like, what are you training for? I was like, I'm training for life. Like, <laughs> I've got to be ready for this. It's, it's a real thing. Like, I need to train and be ready and prepared for life. With what we're exploring now, it's like I've been training how to explore and how to create expeditions and bigger expeditions. And now we're at a point to where we can sail to a country and set up with a photographer and create a collaboration and create a project, right? Like this is our first real project like that. Part of what I feel like is lacking is just my own knowledge, right? Like I don't know. I don't know anything about geology. I don't know really much about the sea. I know how to sail. I know how water acts. I know a bit about physics. I know some things about wildlife, but I'm not an expert in any of those things. But I'm working towards that. That's part of what we're doing now here at Nacho is like getting comfortable in the water and then getting comfortable operating cameras under the water so that we can explore that more and develop that more and use that as another tool to bring value to the world. The whole goal is to bring value. This is our first attempt at an organized expedition. And so the goal of it is basically just to go get good footage, get good photos, and get experience. 
we don't have anything specific in mind in these locations that we're looking for except for beauty photos and video so you're watching practice right now you're watching us practice how to be in the water how to be creative in the water how to collaborate with multiple people in the water that's what we're doing right now is training for bigger expeditions I mean, that's how you learn is through testing and through experimentation and trying. Yeah, it's like that's the part that I think is really valuable about this channel is that it explores the beginnings of things. If you've been following along for a long time, all the way back when we were um, posting like travel stuff on floor, then you know kind of the history and like where it started and you can see the pathway to where we're heading towards and where we're trying to go and you can see the progression and if it's something that you want to do personally then you can emulate aspects of it or you can take principles from it and then apply it to your own life why do we share stories of any kind it's because you either learn from your own mistakes or you learn from somebody else's mistakes so that ideally you don't run into the same problem or if you do run into the same problem you know a better way to navigate it you learn lessons and everything. If you would like to support on Patreon, definitely click the link below and uh, go to patreon.com forward slash Dylan McGaster and you can find the Patreon page and support. Thank you for watching this week's video. If you enjoyed it, subscribe. Big love. See you next week.